Hello and welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to be attempting one of the great treats of the Christmas period for me. Uh, I am a bit of a, of a nerd, as most of you will know, but the GCHQ Christmas quiz, I always look out for it. Um, and yeah, I, I always want to have a go at it. Um, so I'm going to have a go at it now live on screen for you. I don't know whether I'll be able to do it. I might well have to use the internet. Um, but but yeah, it, it, it's always good fun. Mark got to do this video last year. This year it's my turn. Um, so um, let's get cracking and see how we might solve this. So it says there are seven questions below. Each have a one word answer which can f which can follow Christmas. OK, so Christmas tree, for example, might tree might be an answer to one of them. Uh, use the design of the card to help you to put letters from your answers into the grid below to find the final answer. Right, so we've got to fill in the bottom thing here. And what did it say? Use the design of the card. Right, OK, so we've got to use um, the design over on the right hand side. That's just got a picture of Bletchley Park, somewhere I keep meaning to visit, actually. Um, it holds a certain romance, I think, for many of us puzzlers, Bletchley Park. It's probably the wrong word, but because, of course, it's associated with co-breaking during the war. But it harks back to a time when people who were good at puzzles could actually do something practically useful. Um, yeah, so it, it's it's a place, I, I don't know, I, I love reading about the things that went on at Bletchley Park, a wartime home of GCSQ. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's have a look. What, do we, what have we got to do? One, these clocks show a four-letter word. Can you work it out? I don't know. Let's see. We've got p.m. a.m. p.m. a.m. so what are these in uh, that is eight o'clock which is 20 o'clock in p.m. which now that could be a t then because 20th letter of the alphabet is t uh, what's this going to be that's nine ninth letter of the alpha oh so i wondered whether we were going to go straight into to getting a tree but we're not we've got an i at best there if this if this method of encoding is right because on a again on digital clock 9 a.m. would just be a 9, wouldn't it? So that's I, ninth letter. Um, then we've got PM again. Thir 13th letter of the alphabet is M. So time, maybe? We need an E. Yeah, OK, so that one's fairly straightforward. Um, T-I-M-E, just using the the um, the normal representations of digital numbers in a 24-hour clock, and it spells out the answer. Now, 2 is a gingerbread man. Can you solve this riddle? What breaks but cannot fall? I was, <laughs> my brain went to Humpty Dumpty then, which is totally not total nonsense. What breaks but cannot fall, can leap but never crawl, can be seized but never gripped, seize the day, often present but never skipped. Day breaks. I like day. What, what breaks but cannot, you can't. Day breaks. Do you get a leap day? I suppose in a leap year, is that what it's called? A leap day? Is the 29th of February a leap day? Not sure. Uh, often pre the present day is certainly, no, you don't skip a day. Don't gri I think day feels quite good for that. I really like day break and seize the day and present day actually. The leap day I'm less less confident about. Let's give me a second to think about this a bit longer. Um, am I missing a more obvious answer there? What can you seize? You can, o you can only seize the day. Now, see, seize, seize is the clincher for me. I think that's day. Um, three, we've jumbled up our gift tags. Split them into three groups of three and find a word that links each group. So this is only connect. What word link? Oh, and then we've got to link the three the three link link words. So we've got Declan Rice, maybe Beverly Jazz. Oh, Jazz. Well, Jasmine Rice is a thing. Rice then Pudsy Rice. No, Penny Rice. No, Sticky Rice. <laughs> okay, Rice. I think Declan Jasmine Sticky. Uh, Sirius Black. The or dogs. Uh, Sirius is the dog star, isn't it? Um, Scarborough Fair. Pet 
Oh no, I was going to say I was going to say Penny Lane. Um, pitch black, pitch black, serious black. We need a penny black, right? Black. So we've got black, linking penny, pitch, serious, rice, linking Declan, Jasmine, sticky. So the other group is Scarborough Fair, maybe Pudsey. Pudsey, isn't that a bear? from uh, Children in Need, I think. Beverly. I don't know, maybe I can get it the other way round. What, so what have I got? I've got to link rice and black pudding. Yorkshire. Yorkshire pudding, Yorkshire. Scarborough is in Yorkshire. I know that. I do not know if there is a place called Pudsey. I do not know if there is a place called Beverly, but there might be. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. I like that as an answer. So, right. So have we, right. So, so the answer overall is pudding because pudding links Yorkshire, black, black pudding obviously, and rice pudding. So that, that one we've done, right, four. Each letter represents a different digit. So it's just equations, is it? Each letter represents a different digit. Okay, so the, so each letter is representing one to nine, basically. It's like, it's like Sudoku, isn't it? We don't, we, we can't, what I was worried about was could M be 15 or something, and then I be a different number, but I don't think that's what we're being told. So we've got M, M I. Well, okay. So M is one, because you've got if 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 M was two and this was something like twenty-five times twenty-five, the first digit would not be uh, also the digit M, would it? It wouldn't be a two. It would be a five in that instance. Um, so we've got one, and we've got to end it. Yeah, so okay, so we've got a square number that ends in a double digit, right? So it's 144. So it's 12 times 12 equals 144. Now, what have we got then? So, so we've got, so we know i is 2 for the second equation. Oh, okay, you can see how that's working uh, in the sense that the units digits of ti plus ti are both 2, and that equals the 4 that we get from. Uh, M ma, which which is one four four. So, but this is okay. But this is also a two digit number. Ah, it's lovely, right? So T is three, because if T was not three, if T were, we've used up one two and four in our M I and A answers. So if T was five, this would be fifty two plus fifty two, and that is a three digit number, which R A is not. So we must be using 32 plus 32 equals 64. So we've got, so we've now identified, so M is one, I is two, sorry, three, T is three, A is four, R is six. <laughs> now we've got do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. We haven't got far, but we've got a lot of notes in this last one. So we've got do minus so plus t minus me equals re. <laughs> Which ones of these do we know? Do, we don't know anything about. So, we don't know anything about. Ti, we must know. that That's 32. We've just done that. And me is is 12. Right, so that's 20. So ti minus me is 20 and that's equal to 60 something because r is 6 but we can't repeat digits ah ah right okay i didn't think of the, i didn't think of this but e is 0 i thought i thought when it said digit we were going to be i was thinking sudoku so i was thinking we were going to use the one to nine we can't do that now because ti minus mi is 20 so two zero but look at what will the units digit be in a D do minus so sum the unit digit is being deducted from the same unit digit so that's going to give a zero in the units position 
So once you add 20 to that, which also has a zero in the unit's position, you're going to have to get a number that ends in a zero. So 60 is the answer. Oh, well, so we almost don't have to work out the rest of this because the question mark is saying what's 60 times 60. Let's just check this is right, though. Let me just check this is right. So, so what are we saying here? We're saying that so 20 is on this side so that comes across and deducts from the 60 to give 40 so we've got do minus so equals 40 right so one so d is 9 s is 5 and o is 7 or 8 that's weird I don't know if we actually can do that. We might we might not be able to, but it doesn't matter because we have deduced the value of RE, which is, what did I say it was? I've forgotten now, 60. <laughs> so, so RE is 60 times 60, which is 3,600. Uh, oh, I see, I've got to, uh, right, I've got to get a letter out of that or word out of that, 3,600. So that is, what's three in this language, T? Uh, six was R. Ah, so, so, right, so this is tree. This is tree. So re times re is tree. Oh, that's that's very good. Okay, so that so what was this one? Uh, that was that was time. I want to say that was day. Time day. Pudding. Oh yes. Okay. The, another way we can check this is: Do they all follow Christmas? Christmas time. Oh, Christmas Day. Oh, goodness. So this that, that would have really clinched it for me. Christmas something. Christmas uh, pudding. Yes. Christmas tree. Right. Number five. Find the pairs of letters which come next in each sequence. Et el pum. That last one just looks like it's spelling out rapping. Is that NG? That's weird. Um, oh, I don't know. Okay, I haven't got any of the others yet. Woo squ om. Square, is that trying to say? Square. What else begins SQ that could be in a sequence? I don't know, actually. Um, Right, number two here, et l p m. If I read that backwards, that would end complete, which seems like complete. So this might, this one, wrapping is just spelling out a word. I think complete might just be a word spelt out backwards. That would give us o c here. So this is o c. And it's, it's ending ng if wrapping is right. So it's ending in ing. So we've got blank, blank, OC, blank, ING, and something begins. It could be stocking. It could be stocking. <laughs> Christmas stocking is a thing. Now, why is it Christmas stocking? If it was Christmas stocking, this would be ST. And this would be, oh, the weird one with the, the square one would be K-I. Ah, that's right. OK, this is an alphabet one, the W-U one. Yeah, OK, it's just alphanumeric equivalence of letters again. W is the 23rd letter. U is the 21st letter. S is the 19th. Q is the 17th. O is the 15th. M is the 13th. So we need the 11th letter, which is K, and the 9th letter, which is I. So stocking is going to be right here. So we just have to figure out why through rud and st is a sequence. Stone. What else? St. What is st short for? North Dakota. No, it's uh, no, 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 no. That's nonsense. Uh, hmm might have to come back to this one I'm not sure I can I'm not sure I can do this one quickly st
Ah, right. Right, no, this is fine. Right, fourth, third, second, first. Fourth ends in TH, third ends in RD, second ends in ND, first ends in ST. Bingo. Right, so we've now got we've now got five done. We've got two more and then something we've got to do below. Six. We found a scrap of paper with some bars of, with some bars of music on it, which we think are concealing a word. Next to the music were some ones and zeros, so binary, and the numbers sixteen eight four two one, which are. Um, can you work out the hidden word? I can't really see this very well. Um, okay, well, the, my first thought here is it looks like each bar of the music has five notes in it. Let me just see if that's right. Because if that's right, I suspect what we have to do is just view these as binary numbers. Um, now, is black going to be ones or zeros? Black's probably the ones, not sure. If that's right, I wonder if this, the other worry about that thought though, is that these notes are, it, the bars, well the notes within each bar are not, they're not the same are they, I don't think. No, this one ends in double, double whatever that note is, and none of the others do. All right, we'll try, before we get complicated then, let's just think about this. So if this was a binary number and black was one and white was zero, it would be zero, 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 one, one, which is the number three, isn't it? Because we'd have one, the one in the first position is actually a one. The one in the second position represents the number two. And then the third position, which is, turned off here would be a four the fourth position would be a, an eight and the fifth position would be a 16 which does correspond exactly with the 16 8 4 2 1 so if this was three if it's alphanumeric again that would be c there'd be c a actually because the second one only has one switched on and it's in the one position c a christmas cake Chris, christmas what how many letters is this one two three four it's five letters christmas christmas I'm not seeing I haven't got it. Hang on. All right, let's just get the third letter then. The third letter has got a uh, 16 turned on. So 16 and a 2, 18. That's R. Christmas cards. Christmas cards. Right, let's just define. No, ooh, not Christmas cards. This is far too many. We needed a D there for Christmas cards. Christmas. What have we got? We've got an 8, a 4, a 2, and a 1. Christmas, uh, Christmas carol. It's an O. Okay, 15th letter of the alphabet is O, C, A, R, O, and then we must have L here, which is the 12th letter, and we've got 8 plus 4. That's fine. Christmas Carol. Right, look at this message. Can you work it out and find the secret four-letter word? Probably can crack the... I mean, this, this is classic Bletchley Park stuff, isn't it? Um, now, but whether I can do it without a pencil and paper, I don't know. Okay, let's see. We could say that, well, C is probably A. It's either A or I, isn't it? Very likely. There's a single letter word. I can see a double D in the middle of a four letter word. So that's probably E or O. So if D was... Uh, what else can I see here? What's this with an apostrophe L in it? Uh it's would be good there, wouldn't it? It's, I love that. Right, it's. The other thing we should look at is whether we can find any these. So, but if, the, right. Right, okay, right. So this is good, this sounds good. G, Q, L. If that is it's, then Q is corresponding to T. And we've got quam here, which could be the, couldn't it? So that would, that would suggest O was H. Where have we got some useful? We've got very few O's actually. There is an O in this long word. An M would be E, which M probably has the right frequency to be E. Ah, ah, right. Look at this. After the four, the four hyphen, if M is E, well, we've got blank E, 
double Q, which is T, according to um, according to if this is its E. So this could be four letter, four letter word, presumably. Uh, oh, this is going to get complicated, isn't it? Ah, OK, well, word I like because the D would be an O. So that would suggest double O in H double D P. Uh, have we got any other? H, this is going to be look, because if this is four letter word, H is L, but then that would give us L double O. So we need a word that begins, well, it's not going to be loot, is it? Or loom. It's going to be look. So that would that would support us if P was K. Have we got any other P's? Uh, no, I'm not seeing any actually. So a four letter word. Look. It's. The. Uh, oh, I might need I might need a pen and paper to do this, you know. This is going to get difficult. What, what's this word? E blank E. Have we got? Oh, we've got a E blank E. R and then E E at the end. Oh oh V is V there. If that's word, that would be a W. So this is everywhere. Look everywhere. Right. Look everywhere. Something a four letter word. Look everywhere. Something it's now we must be able to back into this now, surely. Um, although, oh, yes, U is V. So V, E, probably very. Yes, V, E, R, it must be, it must be very, must, yes, very. It's very something. It's very hard, but hard is only four letters. That's many more. That's seven letters. It's very, it's very snowy. It's very... <laughs> Oh, I should actually use the code, shouldn't I? Oh, it begins with O. It's very... I still can't get it, sorry. Um, what's the second letter? Have we got an I being translated in any of our words so far? I'm not seeing any, actually. Well, there's an I in that one, but we don't know what that word is. Uh, so what's the third letter? Is a U. Oh, we got... We, oh. V. Oh, so it's O blank V. Observe. Ob what am I talking about? Why do I think? Oh, that's so weird the way my brain worked there. Um, obvious. Obvious is better, isn't it? Because it's got the letters in the right order. It's very obvious. Oh, it's not very obvious. I can tell you that, <laughs> especially not if you can't use a pen, if you can't use a pen and paper to do this. So something, 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 a four letter word. Look everywhere. OK, and then we've got. We've got a B then in this word and then an E. What is this word then? Have we got, do we know what Y is? Have we have we deconstructed a word that's got a, a Y in it anywhere? I don't know actually. Um, a C. Uh, again, I can't see it. X. Oh yes, X is Y. So this. Oh right, so this is maybe actually. This is maybe because it ends. Well, it's blank blank Y B E. Maybe it's very obvious. Okay, look everywhere. Maybe it's very obvious. And OK, so we've just got to we've just got to work out these first bits now. I think we must have enough letters to do this. Um, I'm trying to see where the best place to start is. I'm doing a miserable job of it. What's G? Do we know what G is yet? Yes, we do. G is I. So this is blank I R uh, uh, 
S. T. Oh, right. First. First is the, is the first word. <laughs> Appropriately enough. First. Um, S. O. Solve. First solve the uh, code, probably. It's certainly got an O second letter. And it, yes, OK, yes. First solve. First solve the code. And then we've got I. Identify or something. Right. First solve the code. Identify a four letter word. Look everywhere. Maybe, maybe it's weird there. Maybe it's very obvious. First, solve the code. We've done that. Identify a four letter word. Look everywhere. Oh, I know what this is. Film. It's the, it's the first letters. That's why maybe so weird here. Um, it, we have to identify a four letter word. And the first letters of each of these little sentences spell out film and Christmas film. That makes sense. Christmas film. Right. So we've now got a whole panoply of answers. We've got time, day. I keep forgetting the third one. A pudding. <laughs> time, time, day, pudding. Tree. Stocking. What was that one? Oh, this is where I should have written some stuff down, isn't it? What? Was, oh, Carol. That was Christmas Carol. And that's Christmas film. OK, can we solve the final challenge below? Where we've got a whole load of patterns and numbers. Oh, right. And we have to use the... Ah, OK. So this is where we're going to need to use the patterns on the cards, isn't it? So... I'm not very good at this sort of thing, actually. Um, right, that first one looks like it's from the gingerbread man. What's that got to do with anything? Oh, right. Okay. Ah, okay. No, this is fine, actually. So the gingerbread man is in this one, is in number two, the answer to which was day. So if we take the third letter of day, we get a Y. Could that be what we're asking? Why? What would that be? Yes. No. Um, I was going to say yesterday. It's not that many letters, is it? Yes. No, it's not. All right. Let's try and get the second one. The second one I can barely see. It might be the bottom of the snowflake on the bell, which would be number three, which was pudding. And the second letter of pudding is U. Why U? It doesn't look good, does it? I'm afraid. I think I've messed this up. We've got uh the third one oh dear i mean i'm not sure is that is that the glove it looks a bit like the glove i'm not totally sure about that even the glove was film that would give the third letter of film is l y u yule yule would work if this is an e uh, which is, oh, is this the bauble? That might be the bauble, which is the first answer, which was time. So the fourth letter of ti time is E. Right, Yule, Yule Tide. Uh, let's try, what's this one then? We've got a whole load of red things. <laughs> Uh, which 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 picture oh oh i see i couldn't even see it it's the candy cane so the candy cane is number four which was tree and we want the first letter so that yeah it's going to be yuletide t is 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 the first letter of tree um and then we've got i've got this one i oh right that's i saw i didn't even see this there's a star up here as well so it's the star which is this one. 
And the answer to that one was stockings. We need a six, sixth letter of stocking, which is I. So again, it's, it's supporting Yuletide. And then we've got the first letter of the gingerbread man, which was day, so that's D. And we've got the third letter of the candy cane, which is tree. So perfect. We've got Yuletide. It's going to be Yuletide um, congratulations or Yuletide uh, greetings or something like that. What's right? We need the first one of this one. Is that 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 was the the um, the mitten, wasn't it? Which is which was film. So Yuletide F. Yuletide. Oh, I'm not actually thinking. I don't know. I don't. Nothing is occurring to me then. We need the fourth letter of the candy cane, which is E. So F E. There, and then we've got the present, which is the, th which was Carol, wasn't it? We need the last letter of Carol, which is L. So F E L. Ugh. Yuletide felicitations or something. Felicit. It could be felicitations. That would be quite funny. Right. Let's see if we can justify an I in, in the mitten again. Second letter of film is an I. Perfect. Then we've got the present. We need the first letter of Carol, which is C. This is it. Yeah, OK. And then we've got the bauble. And we need the second letter of time, I. So F-E-L-I-C-I -I. is perfect, isn't it? And then we're going to have, let, well, we might as well finish this because it's good fun. Let's do this, the, um, uh, the thingy thingy, which is the, the star which is that one, and we need the second letter of stocking, which is T, for licit. So this should be an A, which is the gingerbread man. We need the second letter again, so that's correct. Then we need the first letter of the bauble, which is T, sitash, I-O-N-S. We need an I for the bell, and it's the fifth letter of the bell, which is pudding. <laughs> pudding's fifth letter is an I. Um, then we need the present, the fourth letter of the present, which is O. Now we need an N. So we need the, and again, it we're back to the bell again. We need the sixth letter of pudding, which is N. And then we should have S then for, it's going to be related to the star clue. First position set. So it's Yuletide felicitations from GCHQ. That's brilliant, isn't it? What a brilliant way to spend half an hour. I absolutely love this sort of thing. Um, thank you very much for your Yuletide felicitations, GCHQ. I return them to you. Love your content. Um, and uh, yeah, you hark back to a to a, an age when puzzlers truly were rather more important than we are now. Um, and uh, anyway, I extend my Christmas wishes to you all and thank you very much for watching. We'll be back with more Sudoku later on on the channel. Bye for now.